Hello everyone, my name is Dmitry Vostokov and I introduce pattern-oriented mobile software diagnostics today. I decided to keep this presentation short and as simple as possible. If anything needs to be added or modified in the future, I create another version of it. So it should be a very short presentation. I'm not sure if it is more than 30 minutes, probably less. So let's start. Some people are still arriving. These prerequisites are very simple for this presentation and I suppose you all, like me, enjoy diagnosing software problems troubleshooting and debugging, and learn mobile platforms. This introductory presentation is either for desktop and server development and support engineers who are moving to mobile development and support and would like to reuse pattern-oriented software diagnostics there but it is also for mobile development and support who want to learn about recent advances in pattern-oriented software diagnostics methodology originally coming from complex server environments such as terminal services. The current state of mobile software diagnostics on some platforms for example, memory dump analysis is like desktop diagnostics or server diagnostics decades ago. However, all is rapidly changing and mobile devices now acquire hardware power that was unthinkable some time ago. Such devices might completely displace desktops even for traditional applications because it would be possible to connect mobile devices to large visualization devices to perform traditional desktop work such as editing and designing. As hardware power increases, the traditional desktop and server diagnostics ability also come in. For example, memory analysis role would increase and trace analysis would become more sophisticated on some mobile platforms. For example, the old methods of displaying message boxes for tracking variable values is dying as there is console log and tracing API for JavaScript. So it is possible to create sophisticated logs for client side for JavaScript based web applications, web apps. So our vision is reuse of traditional desktop server diagnostics methods and tools and with this come adoption of pattern orientation and unification of pattern catalogs and languages. Now I show you some slides from a few previous presentations mainly for those attendees who are unfamiliar with pattern oriented software diagnostics. Actually, a bit simplified here. First, I would like to remind you a definition of pattern-oriented software diagnostics as pattern-driven and pattern-based. And next, I would like to remind you a definition of a software, a software diagnostics pattern.
So you see that software diagnostics is about patterns. Pattern-driven part is about diagnostics pattern recognition, and pattern-based part is about pattern and pattern catalog life cycle. To repeat, pattern-driven means finding patterns of abnormal structure and behavior in software execution artifacts such as memory dumps, software logs and network traces. To help with this, there are checklists, pattern catalogs and tools. Pattern-based part is about evolution and distribution. New patterns are constantly added, old ones are refined, new pattern descriptions for different platforms are added, here we say pattern implementations as would be seen later on. The customers of this technology need to be updated of all changes. And so the reuse of pattern-oriented software diagnostics brings tangible economic benefits including quantifiable analysis such as the number of patterns searched and the number of them identified. We see the main advantages of pattern-oriented diagnostics on this unification diagram for main mobile platforms. Such modern platforms are based on traditional desktop operating systems and so it is already possible to reuse tracing there in patterns. Unified pattern catalogs even allow for pattern prediction if a particular pattern implementation is missing on one platform but available for the other. One example here we can provide is stack trace collection memory analysis pattern. Originally it was discerned on Windows platforms for WinDBG debugger from debugging tools for Windows where we can get a collection of stack traces from all threads from a specific process or system including manage.next stack traces. Later on another implementation was created for macOS 6 GDB and to some extent it is possible to reuse it on Linux GDB debugger and other platforms that support GDB debugger. Here is an example output from Android Java platform and it is possible to reuse it for other Java implementations as well. You can see this Java implementation including modeling source code in one of the debugging TV episodes. I provide the link on further reading slide at the end of this presentation. I see some people arrived, so you missed the beginning, but there is a recording, so you will be able to, uh, to catch up later on. So we saw on the previous slide that stack trace collection was taken from a log file. Contrary 
to common belief, memory analysis is not limited to memory dumps or live debugging. It is common in software diagnostics of artifacts from the complex environments. So it is common there in complex environments to process memory dumps into log files first and then recognize patterns there by running scripts and then analyzing debugger logs as textual files or using tools or by visual inspection, a simple search. Now a few slides about one problem we found in the current state of mobile software diagnostics on some platforms. There is very limited memory dump analysis and if this is possible there is limited operating system support for the platform debugger for post-mortem analysis as well. The solution we found for limited memory analysis is to introduce yet another trace analysis pattern that would allow reuse of some memory analysis patterns. It is called a state dump pattern and you would see a diagram explaining it on the next slide. For limited operating system debugger support we reuse the so-called paratext pattern we explain later further on. So what is a state dump? State dump means periodic logging of stack traces, important variables and status reports. The degree of sophistication is up to implementation. Paratext pattern. Paratext name originally comes from narratology and means extra information to supplement textual narrative such as stories and novels or non-fiction. So such supplements include notes and text description back cover, for example. In this context, for software diagnostics, it means information from system collected by operating tools in parallel that may assist in memory analysis. For example, on this slide we see an indication of a running thread that helps with diagnosing spiking thread memory analysis pattern that comes from Android debug bridge. See thread 11 is running from process up 57 process. To summarize, it is possible to reuse dump analysis and trace analysis pattern catalogs and what we are doing, that's what we call mobile data. And finally, there is another meaning of mobile we would like to cover at the end of this presentation. It means flexible software diagnostics independent from support and engineering, organizational structure and interaction. This is mainly for big companies of use, of course. So it's not only software diagnostics of mobile platforms, but software diagnostics may become mobile itself. In organizational sense, maybe a third meaning as mobile itself. 
And so the last slide, on this slide I included links to relevant past presentations focused on pattern-driven and pattern-based parts where you can find additional references such as for software narratology. I post these slides later on today. And there are also the recent Debugging TV episodes which provide pattern reuse examples for Android Java platform I mentioned previously and I might even come with episode 34 this week. Another episode. So thank you all for listening and attending. I'm very interested in how to improve this introduction, so please send your comments and suggestions. You see that we recently moved to the new domain called patterndiagnostics.com from dumpanalysis.com. It's all the same. If I can't answer your questions now, I then post it on Software Diagnostics Services website later. So thank you for attendance and see you all during next presentations, webinars and seminars. Thank you. Bye-bye.